Good morning everyone and happy Sunday. I believe actually you'll be watching this on a Monday but it is Sunday as I'm filming this and I am up bright eyed, bushy tailed after the most restorative and rejuvenating Saturday I think I've ever had. Um, basically we went, well I had meetings in London on the Friday with so many of my like favourite ladies from some of my favourite brands and it was just, you know like you know when you just go and have such a lovely day in London and then you go out in the evening and have an even lovelier evening and then you come home and the next day and you're like, do you know what? I'm full. I can have an entire day just sat in front of the fire doing any of the bits that I want to do. I finished off um, listening to the Davina McCall podcast on uh, Diary of the CEO, so I finally finished that off. Um, I also, which is what this video is mainly going to be about, uh, started planning my kitchen garden and how I'm going to be documenting it and um, just showing you what's going on and talking you through it because obviously this is something that I'm new to, well, new to, I've been doing it for a few years now but actually having a fully fledged kitchen garden, I'm like learning as I'm going, I found that I had a passion for it and um, it's kind of escalated very expensively from there. But um, I wanted to find a way that it was easy for me to sort of share what I'm doing and not overwhelm you because I get very, very easily overwhelmed with like how much knowledge some people have in this um, and how seriously people take it. This is very much a fun thing for me. And so I thought, yeah, I've been thinking about how I'm gonna do that. But anyway, so I was like planning out my um, kitchen garden, what I'm gonna plant, etc. So I'll get to that. Um, we're heading to the garden center today. Uh, I want to pick up some bits for the house. I want to pick up some bits for potentially the garden. And I don't know, I don't know why I'm starting in January, in all honesty, I'm such a fair weather gardener that this is um, unlike me, but I think I'm just, I think I'm just ready for my weekly dose of nature, even though I get it all the time with the dogs. I just wanna get out there. I just, I just wanna get out there. So anyway, that's my plan of action for this Sunday, just to basically um, bring you up to speed with it. But yeah, I had a lovely weekend. We went and watched um, the 1975 on Friday, and that was very, very lovely as well. And it's just been one of those weeks, really, where, I don't know, it's just been lovely. But what I wanted to tell you about, oh my gosh, I have got a full face of makeup on, pretty much like new makeup that I've not used before. And I'm obsessed, so I'm going to tell you that. I need to take my vitamins first, um, and then I we're going to get cracking. Ali's had a bit of a lad's night out last night, so it's a bit delicate. Um, but yes, I'm gonna take my vitamins. Also, my outfit that I'm wearing today, I've got a pair of blue page denim jeans, I've got my Ray Pavon boots. These are, honestly, like this is my favorite vibe at the moment. These boots are perfection. I'm just kind of breaking them in. I wore them to London on Friday and I was actually fine all day. Um, but because my feet swell, I have to, I need to get them like worked in a little bit. So today is very much like I've got really thick socks on to keep my feet warm, but also to stretch these boots out. So I've got a really high instep. And um, so I just need to stretch out the leather, soften it up a little bit. But I think this is like my favorite, favorite vibe. In fact, I'm loving this bag so much that I found the last pair of Hermes Oran sandals in Rouge Hermes and I ordered them in my size. And um, so they should be arriving, I think, tomorrow. So I've got my summer shoes. So even though this is a very sort of rich, wintry autumnal hue, I think I'm gonna be able to rock it in summer, I think. I think this is gonna be a big color for the next season. I'm kind of seeing it everywhere at the moment. And I, it's not a usual kind of spring summer color, but I'm excited about it. Anyway, I'm gonna take my vitamins, get myself cracking downstairs. Um, I'm still taking my hair burst vitamins and Guys, I'm almost ready to cut off all of the dead ends. I think I've got a few months and I could go for like a nice bob, but um, I'm gonna give it a few months. My hair is growing so fast and everything that I'm, I always say this, but everything I'm doing, it keeps me motivated to just, I'm gonna continue this once my hair is back to normal. Like I promise you, this new care and love that um, I show my hair is, is actually part of like a self-care ritual for me now. I take my um, hair burst vitamins 
like literally every single day this is my my ritual of like starting putting the things into my body that i want to put in um so i start off with these i can't swallow tablets so this is the best way for me to get um all of the nutrients and ingredients that i need for healthy hair growing through and you can see by the shininess that it is working. I have my usual hair burst discount code, so if you're looking to stock up or try it, um, it's LMHV20. You can use that across the site, except for their new subscription service, which I'm gonna tell you about. I'm, it's hair wash day tomorrow, um, so I thought probably I can talk you through it a little bit better then. But if you wanted to get ahead, obviously the, the discount code doesn't work on their subscription, but basically you can get your three month supply of vitamins and I think it's like two bottles of your um, chosen shampoo and conditioner delivered to your door every three months. And it just means that you don't have to think about it. It's constantly arriving, you don't run out. That's one of the things I hate when you're in the shower and you run out of your shampoo. But anyway, I'll show you the ones that I'm using because I feel like we've got into this really weird place where we have like these usual brands that we go to and we see them everywhere, like with the flicking of the hair. And actually there are so many brands and this is something I've always done. I always love finding the new brands that are doing things really differently. And from when I started using these, like all of the girls in the office use these, but to also using their products that don't irritate my scalp, that are doing all of the things and taking care of all of the things in my hair that's really important to me. So basically this is what you would get you'd get your three month supply. So the two shampoo and conditioners that I've got are for longer, stronger hair. So I'm basically focusing on the strength and the condition of my hair to ensure that it's growing as long and as quickly as possible. Uh, and I love this. You know, I'm no stranger to subscription services. I love something that takes out the faff of everything, but also has exceptionally good products. And I definitely find that nowadays there are so many brands that are doing things so much better, but maybe don't necessarily have like the television marketing budgets that you see all the time on your TV screens, but are creating beautiful, functional products that are actually gonna help your hair. So I've got my supply here. Obviously I've got my discount code if you just wanted to pick up some vitamins, um, but if you wanted to try out the subscription service or just try out some bits online, you can use that, but if you wanted to obviously try this out. This is like a bundle anyway, so you're making a huge saving on this, hence why my code isn't on this. On the website, this is called the Hair Burst Insider, and this is a saving of 50%, which is actually the biggest saving that Hair Burst has ever put on any of their products. And um, it basically, oh, I've got the itchy hand. And it just basically means that you can get your favorite products delivered to your door, 50% off, super easy, no issue beautiful hair and you've got all of your vitamins that are working on the inside and you've got your shampoos and conditioners that are working on the outside and probably a little bit on the inside as well. Oh, I'm gonna put this down because it's a little bit heavy, but um, it also means that you become part of the Hair Burst Insider Program, which also means that you hear about new products and launches and um, offers and discounts and also gets you 40% off everything else. So you can either sign up or you can use my discount code, whichever suits your kind of situation. Um, I'll pop all of the, the information in the description box down below, but I am washing my hair tomorrow. I've gone for my easy style. One thing I've also noticed using the hair burst shampoo and conditioner is I don't need to wash my hair as much. It's so weird. I don't know whether they're just better at like clarifying my scalp or what, but um, yeah, I've definitely noticed that my hair is lasting longer and um, which is helping me because washing my hair too much it can make it quite dry, so I want to leave it to marinate in its own oils as much as possible. I will pop everything in the description box down below. I'm gonna take my vitamins and uh, get cracking, because we want to go to the garden center first, so that is exciting. Very exciting. Wild. <laughs> also, this jumper is an oversized kind of cable knit from H&M which I've had for a few years now and is so wonderful. I feel like it kind of looks a little bit like vintage, like you could have found it in a, in a like vintage store or it's like your dad's old fishing jumper or something, which I really liked as well. So anyway, let's get cracking with the day. You can hear the sound, I think, in the background of Mr. Millen Gordon making me a coffee. He is working on perfecting his art. In fact, if anyone can let me know of a good barista course that I can send him on because 
he is committed to learning how to make the perfect coffee and coffee art as well. Um, but yeah, he's just got some new beans, so he's making me a coffee whilst we wait for the plumber to come. Um, so I thought I would talk you through my makeup um, that I was telling you about upstairs, because obviously I've got By Terry Brightening CC Serum on. That is always like standard. But I have tried out Jones Road today for the first time. I feel like I've got the right color of what the foundation and I've used their bronzer as well and their blush and I am fully obsessed. I can't believe like I know that people were talking about what the foundation on TikTok when there was like the viral video when they she didn't know how to use it but nobody I don't I'm not seeing anyone talk about it. It is the most incredible brand and like my skin is my skin but it just looks like better and it looks more radiant. It is absolutely gorgeous. I've got a little bit of um, the Victoria Beckham highlighter on the highest point of my cheeks and then I've got a new mascara on which is just, I mean this isn't a new mascara but it is the best mascara ever and um, yeah it's just nice to have a different, a different makeup look on my face and I feel like it looks really fresh but it looks like me. I am definitely weaning myself off all of the sort of really heavy makeup that I've worn over the years and getting more comfortable with my face as my face <laughs> which is nice but yeah i just wanted to i'll link everything that i've used but in a video maybe i'll show you how i use it but i love it absolutely love it this is my outfit for the day i've got some blue page denim jeans i've got my uh ray pavon boots on h&m jumper amazon beautiful amazon green scarf uh purdy jacket and vintage kelly ready to go We always come here and stock our freezer with some croissants and some cookies that we can just bung in the oven. They're locally made, which is so, so lovely. We've also got a lamb massacre, some Northamptonshire eggs, fresh brushes and a fresh sourdough as well. Obviously some treats for the boys are in here too. Ali likes to tease me all the time when it comes oh, to the chickens. Yeah, we should get some. They love the old blue rinse, haven't they? <laughs> the blue rinse. It's so beautiful. No, they're not. Oh, you see that? Oh, little quails. You like the quails, babe? You like those? I'll have quails. I'm happy to have quails. Yeah. Listen, I'll just take anything that can allow me to go down and get eggs, babe. That's all I care about. Wow, we have found the golden pheasants and I've, oh my gosh, look how beautiful he is. And his little hen. Oh my goodness. So handsome. So handsome. Honestly, Ali is such a tease. He constantly just winds me up, takes me chicken shopping, and then doesn't get me chickens. But I would really love some sort of traditional, traditional uh, hens in our garden. After seeing Jade Holland Cooper's chicken coop, I am just obsessed and obsessed even more now. And they're just so fantastic. Look at these little roosters, little cockerels. Hello, chaps. Hello. Oh. Okay, so we've just pulled up at Waitrose. Ali has gone in to um, get a joint of meat. I think he's just coming now. Um, I picked up some ferns. There wasn't much there, to be honest, and I picked up some antique um, watering cans for my greenhouse when I'm able to decorate it. But we're going to have a roast. Ali's going to work on the roast whilst I work in the garden, and that is his little head behind me there. Yeah, so we basically went and checked out the, the um, garden centre where we live, but it's it's basically been going on under like renovation. It's got loads more retail units, so now it has like a vintage watch shop, a wine shop, an antique shop. It's got other bits and pieces. It's not like the most beautiful. It is beautiful now, but it's, it's not like it's not like Dalesford or anything like that. Um, but we went and had a look around and found some lovely bits. What did you get? We have got, I didn't want to buy beef again, so I've got lamb. Okay, lovely. Is that okay? Yeah, we got some lamb it's from the butcher. The, lovely. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we're going to head home now. Hopefully I'll get some time in the garden today, but this one has slowed me down so much today. 
Honestly, I wanted to be out at like 10 o'clock and we didn't get out until gone two. Mr. Millen Gordon is in the kitchen prepping for a roast. We stopped off and got some lamb and I've just harvested some carrots, some of the last carrots before I kind of get rid of the ones that maybe didn't do so well. Um, but I thought I'd talk you through a little bit whilst my phone is charging um, of what I'm doing in January in the kitchen garden. Um, I don't usually, oh, <laughs> you can see all of the mess. This is prepping for our shed to go in. Um, it starts, I believe, on Monday. And here you can see the foundations for our oak uh, posts. There's going to be a, a succession of oak posts that go along here, and then a much bigger shed that goes on here, which is exciting. Um, it's gonna look really lovely, but we've got the sort of frame bits and pieces in here. The dogs are chewing on a carrot that I've kindly given to them. I thought I'd also show you where we're at with the balustrades as well. Um, this is them sort of in, obviously not completely finished yet. We've just replaced these three here that had some metal cut next to them. And um, we're just getting one piece of glass to replace a piece of glass there that wasn't big enough. We're also having a gate put on here, so that's gonna go there. You two stop playing together. But yeah, a gate here. And then I think what we'll do is we will have some potted plants here. At the moment we've got the uh, old olive trees here which are moving down into the light well down there for a softer green tone. The plumbing has started going in for the kitchen, for the outdoor kitchen, um, where the sink is gonna go. And uh, that's kind of where we're at. We've got the new coping stones which are all grouted and looking lovely. And this is sort of the uh, finished, finished, Thing, but obviously we need to get rid of all of the uh, rubble um, so yeah I have just been clearing some of the sort of not good carrots from the beds I've also closed up my cloches because um, I'm going to start warming up some areas of the soil so that maybe I can get some things in I've got so many carrots left over so I definitely think that next year I will do a lot less carrots I think I really over egged it and took up a lot of space I actually think that a run like this of carrots would be enough and just being a bit more careful with how many seeds I'm putting in <laughs> because I think I was a bit overzealous so not too many carrots I think next year I need to fill up the soil because as you can see where we put the beds in and the soil has compacted down from this section you can see all of the irrigation and you can also see the um, lining so we want to cover that up bring the soil up nice and high I am also planning my window boxes which um, last year they were herbs I think this year they're going to be more decorative I'm thinking ivy trailing down the edges of our planters and then some white kind of foliage just to bring some brightness into here as well so that it looks lovely um, as you can see not looking great in there which upsets me incredibly um, I think I'm going to introduce some more asparagus plants as well so that we get some more I am going to be doing my first a cut flower garden like bed as well I've never done any cut flowers before but when I did the masterclass with Arthur Parkinson at Ashbrook I was really inspired to give it a try so I'm just trying two flowers this year I'm gonna be doing sweet peas which I'm hopefully gonna sow next week sometime um, because I really liked how wild and wonderful he styled them he was really good with them and really kind of inspired me with them so that was good and then um, I think in February time or even April I saw randomly um, I'm gonna do some cosmos as well because again I really like the wild and wonderfulness of them so that's my plan out here um, I'm gonna get my notepad and just start kind of thinking about where I'm gonna put these cut flowers because what I might try and do is make these beds a bit more decorative what I was thinking about how I had um, the tomato plants in here maybe doing a like cosmos border around the outside which I saw on Pinterest which looked really nice um, and just making them a bit more ornamental like doing you know a row of carrots but then maybe a row of flowers in the middle and then a row of something else but I am going to have a little play around with it and I will pop hopefully a little checklist of what I'm doing in my garden um, up on my Instagram for you to enjoy as well but this view it's looking ever so lovely look at this I 
cannot wait for this wild wildflower to start coming up as well. This was one of the antique watering cans that I picked up. They are so heavy. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And another one here, and this one has a little saw that will look lovely hung in Ali's shed when it's finished, but this is slightly bigger. Um, I might even grow things in these because they just look so lovely, but I'm gonna have a bit of a play around. Where are you off to, Barkley Boo? Where are you off to? Good boy, good boy. We've got some chuffed up potatoes and we have Mr. Millen Gordon in his very, very fetching Lartisan Parfumer Pinny. You look very, very hot in a pinny, babe. You think? Yeah, very hot. We're using Millen Gordon honey and also the carrots from the kitchen garden. We've got parsnips, meat's ready to go. The Yorkshires are rising and the oil is heating. Oh, it smells delicious already. Well, if there's one thing that Mr. Millen Gordon is good at, it is portion sizes, because look at this. Oh my goodness. This looks absolutely spectacular. We've got lamb, homemade Yorkshire puddings, parsnips, carrots from the kitchen garden, and potatoes and broccoli as well. Oh, so good. Ali has dressed the lamb in lemon and oregano, which sounds lovely. We have finished dinner and it is now time for the sausage dogs to have their new toys. Have you taken all the tags off? Yes. Because their Christmas presents didn't last very long, so <laughs> I don't expect this one to either. Oh gosh. <gasps> oh, oh. Hardly always has to have the last one. Good boys. Good boys. <laughs> Buckley's like, not a chance. <laughs> well, those cookies that we bought uh, for the freezer earlier on that we were supposed to save for our guests are currently cooling on the side. We've got another four, but we're, we decided that we're gonna have like a cup of, uh, what's it, caffeine-free tea and cookies. We're just gonna let them cool down. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. So the cookies are ready and we've got the homemade, is this homemade Devonshire ice cream? We get it from Waitrose and it's delicious. Boomy has just woken up, so I'm guessing she will join us too. Um, I don't have too much ice cream, but I'm sure Ali will enjoy. Enjoy some ice cream. Nice. Mm. It's the warm the cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Poor tea. You're just about as new me. Good morning everyone. I look absolutely ridiculous today. I'm trying something different with my hair. I'm just trying different things to get different results with my hair at the moment. I don't think this is gonna be the best result for me because I've used my usual hair tong to do my hair. And I actually prefer that when it's a little bit dropped, like it holds my curls so well. Um, I'm trying to get more of a softer look, but I don't know how this is gonna go. So we're gonna take it out together, but I have washed my hair and I washed my hair using the Hair Burst shampoo and conditioner. The reason why I've now switched over is because I found a shampoo and conditioner that first and foremost is 95% natural, smells good because I have to say a lot of the other shampoos that, that are gentle don't smell too great. Um, I wanted something that smelt really kind of fresh and lovely and it's got this kind of, not it's not tropical, it's like a really lovely subtle coconut smell to it. There's nothing nicer than having a little bit of 
it's almost like hair perfume and you just give it a flick and you get like a waft of your perfume that you're wearing mixed in with the sweeter tones of your hair shampoo of choice. So that's what I've done. It's super easy because it gets delivered to my door and I get basically double the amount. So I'm not worrying like, oh, after this I've run out, I've always got one in stock until the next one comes in three months time. So very, very handy. Anyway, let's get my hair out. But just a reminder for everything else on the Hairburst website, it is 20% off with LMHB20. So hopefully that is helpful for you. I'm going to try and do this in the mirror. But basically I bought these little clips off of Amazon to do sort of like pin curls. Oh my gosh, I feel like this is going to make me look like um a pageant queen oh, this is gonna take some brushing out i think oh my god <laughs> i just want like to know whether for the sake of i think these were like six pounds for a box i bought two boxes can i get that sort of bouncy blow dry look that actually stays in because the one thing i know i keep umming and ahhing i am going to make a decision and i think i'm just going to do you know what i think i'm going to do i think i might buy the dyson air wrap and do a review like because i just i'm just not trusting any of the reviews because when i see girls that do their hair really beautifully i then watch their videos where they're like later on in the day and it's all kind of dropped out and doesn't have any volume left so i feel like i just need to do the review don't i um and because I've never worked with Dyson and I don't know, I feel like I would want, well, I want to do the review that I want to see basically, unless you can link me to someone that's like done a really sound review. Um, I can't work out when I'm seeing the, what's it, the comparisons to like Shark, I can't work out if they're then sponsored by Shark or what. So I feel like I just need to buy it and do the review myself. I think that might work better. Is that everyone out? Oh my gosh, this is so... So, <laughs> I literally look like something of a like dance mums. Not that I've ever watched that. I've also tried a new product this morning. It's a sample of uh, fake tan and my goodness, it is like the luxury fake tan product that I have been waiting for. It's kind of a hybrid of something that I already love. Um, but just feels completely different. So I'm excited to see how it marinates and develops, but I love a sample. And that's one of the things I've always like pushed for. Kind of, I guess, leans more into what it is that I focus on about giving like good reviews, not just fashionable reviews. Is that all of them? Uh, that's all of it out. Oh my gosh, it's so curly. I don't think this is what I was wanting. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like this is not what I wanted. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely voluminous. Voluminous? Vol 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 no, this is not it, is it? This is not it. This needs to drop hardcore, otherwise I am going to look ridiculous. And this front bit has not gone how I wanted it. I wanted like kind of swooshes, but I've got pageant queen. <laughs> Let's sort this out. Okay, we look a little bit less pageanty now. There's definitely a lot more like curl in the length and volume through here. It's almost taken like because they're so tight, it's like taken a lot of the length off, which I am not mad about because I would happily um, have my hair cut some more. I have to show you something and I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, can you see that hair there? Yeah, I don't know if you can see that on top of my head, but I am working on my scalp health, hence why I'm using these natural shampoos, hence why I'm using vitamins, I'm using serums on my scalp, I'm scrubbing, and I didn't want to like highlight it, but now I actually can't not because it's so noticeable. And you'll notice that I know that um, I speak about my broken hair quite a lot, but this is all perfectly smooth. Like there is no like broken hair. Like obviously you get little bits of broken hair naturally, but to have like a lot is, is when there's something wrong. And I've got no, no broken hair. You can see how much volume there is here versus the end of my hair. 
but that is absolutely nuts it feels almost like a little bit of a brush I'm so excited oh I just love it okay so anyway I'm gonna let this drop a little bit more throughout the day because this is um intense I'm gonna get dressed um and crack on but very voluminous and it didn't well if you want volume and big sort of like curls like this 25 pound tong and some six pound clips from amazon there you go you just tong into a little curl and zhuzh it up on your head it's a very beauty heavy video today i'm sorry but i'm just i'm going through a transitional like season when it comes to to beauty i'm trying so many different things whereas i feel like before I, you know when you find a rhythm so anyway take my vitamins have my smoothie and crack on with my day. Mm -hmm. Smoothie, smoothie. <laughs> that is a bit better now. It's kind of like dropped out of the ringlets and now just has lots of volume. I did have to correct some of the curls because they were going the wrong way, but actually I'm kind of liking it now. It does look like a good blowout, um, which I love. And my hair is so shiny. Look at that. Like I've got very, very coarse hair. So um, to get a shine on my hair is not always the easiest, but healthy, healthy, healthy. Makes me very excited. I'm gonna make myself a coffee. I've got something to unbox with you. We are also fully enjoying our new coffee machine. Um, this is a DeLonghi, is it? Ali, is it a DeLonghi bean to cup? Yeah, this is a bean to cup machine and it's a lot more faff, but the coffee is so good, I actually can't cope. This is probably my third coffee of the day. <gasps> Ferocious doggy. Ferocious. Well, this is an interesting turn of events. We have literally had, I was about to pick up the camera and say, look at this lovely sunny day. And in the matter of seconds, it is now snowing and sleeting. It's clouded over. I actually can't believe this. I love it. I hope it's cold enough that it settles because I've missed the frosty mornings so much. <gasps> We are currently suitcase packing because I have collection shoot day tomorrow, which I always get very, very excited about. So we're just packing the suitcase. Luckily, this evening, I don't have to head to um, stay over at a hotel. We're shooting a really beautiful location, but thankfully it's not too far away. So that's good. I've got Alex coming this evening to touch up my nails and... I have something to unbox with you, like I said. Um, this is not, and I repeat, I know there's been a lot of ames at the beginning of this year. <laughs> I think that this is the, the, the weavings of my natural style, and I feel like this purchase is kind of like a predictable one. It's my summer shoe to go with this bag, because as you know, I like my shoes and bags to match, so it is something so that I'm gonna get even more wear out of this bag, which is a good thing. It's a good thing, and it was literally the last pair that was on the website. I really, I, in fact, I checked this morning, and the listing had been removed. So the girls have also just been making fun of me by saying that they, they reckon that by the end of the year, I will have repainted my dressing room in this color. Not a chance. Green is still my happy place when it comes to interiors, but <laughs> this particular, um, ooh, is this it? Does, is it from, oh my God, this one came from Paris. I don't think it's come in an Hermes box. That is very interesting. One thing I've noticed is that certain leather... Oops. Um, one thing I've noticed uh, since having my Iran sandals in the gold is that sometimes different leathers look different. So we shall see. Nice and easy to unbox. Oh no, I think this is going to be fine. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Oh my goodness. 
that's made me very happy because I was almost thinking to myself, it's almost sad that I won't be able to wear it in summer because I don't have a summer shoe and I wasn't, I didn't really want to go in search. Well, I would like to go in search of some ballet flats as well in this color, but um, this is a much more relaxed shoe. And the Iran sandals for me now are a bit of a staple in my summer wardrobe, so I love those. Not particularly quiet luxury because it has the big H across the toe, but I feel like it, it can almost be, as long as it's not like a blingy um, gold logo, I think, I think it kind of toes the line of that more like understated look, which I just prefer nowadays. I didn't used to, but now I do. There's only one monogram I ever had, and that is Louis Vuitton, because again, it's like that historical element that I love, and I feel like they're a bit more of like the trailblazers when they come, when it comes to it, they de definitely set the tone. But yes, so I came across these. It was a match made in heaven. It was as if they'd seen me scrolling and been like, she needs a pair of these in, in this color. And they, uh, Oh no, mine. I haven't even tried them on yet, but I've got tights on, so I think it'll probably because I'm pretty sure that I sized up. Did I size up in my other around sandals? Did I get half a size? Oh, well, I'm not going to be able to tell now, am I? Thirty-nine. Ooh, this is definitely a thirty-eight. Oh no, that's perfect. Wow, they feel big. They're perfect, they must have looked at the sizing. Perfect, I mean you can't see them and you really don't want to see them on with a pair of tights. Because I had to get these in a 39. They've obviously adjusted the sizing, which is great. That makes me very happy because these fit me perfectly. Very, very happy. Over the moon. on the hunt for now a rouge h belt so if anyone spots one with gold hardware let me know please because they have one on the website at the moment which is actually the belt that i want with the little lock that hangs down because i think it's beautiful but it's only in silver hardware i thought let's not get this belt let's get something different um but get it in a different color and i can't find one anywhere at the moment shopping pre-loved for the belt is proving hard because there's so many different shades of rouge with Hermes. I'm struggling to find that people are like putting the right shade, especially when it's vintage, but I would prefer a vintage belt. So if you spot a vintage rouge H or rouge, rouge Hermes belt with gold hardware, let me know because I will buy it. I don't want to get something new. I want to get something old and buy it pre-loved personally. My hair actually looks really good now. I'm kind of loving it. Maybe I will do it again. Maybe the pin curls can stay. Alex is here getting my nails ready for shoot day. Just taking off my manicurist gel polish using their green flash uh, dissolvent. Du. I think that's what that says. It smells like a diptyque perfume it's so so nice and it's given my nails such a lovely break but due to the romance involved in the next collection we're actually going to try a new color i don't know why this camera doesn't focus but anyway what's this one this one called toffee talk toffee talk i bloody hate the names <laughs> honestly that i i just feel like that someone should em employ me just to name their yeah. stuff because honestly i would do such a better job um but it's this one it's kind of like a muddy pink um i can't go for green because i think it will stand out too much against the current collection but this is what we're going to go for a nice dusky muddy purple and i feel like this isn't going to come across as nice on camera but this is like almost like the shade of um the walls in my hallway drop cloth oh what's that? that's a bit white i think try that one on on that one it's a bit white isn't it yeah i think it's a bit white i think this one is a nice i don't know 
Should we go for it? I think that's more springy. Yeah, but it's not spring yet. So we're in transitional. Okay, okay. I think this one. Go for it then. Let's yeah? do it. Yeah. Okay, let's go for it. Oh my goodness me. Good morning, everyone. It is still fairly um, dark outside, so I've got all of the lights on in here. Probably not enough. I probably should have washed my hair this morning, but I was too tired. Um, so I've got hairspray. I'm going to be attempting to make good of my bed head, which is left over from yesterday's shoot. Um, it was exceptionally cold on the shoot, so I was exhausted by the time I got home. This light is awful. Let me just get some more light on. It's probably a little bit better. I feel like I can see now. Um, I'm just going to spritz my face with some of my eight hour mist. This is the most bizarre mist. Like you spray it onto your face and I almost feel it like being all like thermally. It feels like warm, it's lovely. Um, but yes, so I got back and I was absolutely exhausted because we were in this really beautiful big room at Scion Park and it was Baltic. Like I think we were actually intending on shooting a bit outside but because this was spring and there was frost on the ground, it was not the vibe we were going for. Okay, that's an empty one. <laughs> Oh, perfect. Definitely need some refreshing eye drops today because my I slept so well last night, but you know when you haven't had the best night's sleep the night before, you kind of like, you're almost like a bit delirious when you wake up. So that is how I am feeling today. Um, today I'm in London. I've got meetings in London, which is lovely. Really, really lovely. Meeting with someone I haven't actually seen in ages, which is just so good. And then um, I also have, excitingly, my top up for um, my lip blush and my hyperrealism brows. So I had this done before Christmas and I can officially say that I have not worn lip liner since the day that I had my, I haven't worn lip liner or eyebrow, like pencil or anything like that since the day that I had this done. It's absolutely changed how I do my makeup um, in the mornings and how I feel when I haven't got makeup on or where, when I'm going for like a lighter makeup. It's really, really good. I'm so, so happy with it. So I'm gonna be getting um, this, like it's the second sort of pass that you have done. Um, and I had Rosie do mine and she's honestly amazing. I, I have her do my lips and then Miri does my brows and Miri is just so amazing. So. That's what I'm having done today as well. So Carrie and I are going to London. It is very, very frosty outside today. So I'm going to be wrapping up warm again. But this time I'm not going to be prancing around Scion Park in next to nothing. I'm actually going to have lots of um, layers on to keep me warm, which <laughs> I don't have to worry about too much. I'm going to take a scarf. I'm going to take gloves. All of those things. I've also had a delivery from Karen Millen for um, my, like not my collection, but for my stories this month. You are going to be so happy for me. Some of the items are so beautiful and um, I'll see if I can show you those either when I get back or tomorrow or something like that. But I'm going to get makeup on my face. Carrie texted me yesterday morning and she was like, oh my God, the Jones Road foundation is amazing. So I think I'm going to go with that today. Just something a bit lighter um, and fresher. Ooh, I think I can smell that Mr. Mill and Gordon has lit the fire in the living room. <laughs> oh. And I came home yesterday and I had a delicious meal cooked for me by my husband. He did hoisin chicken um, with cashews and asparagus and he made homemade sweet potato fries, which were delicious. Oh my gosh, he's getting so good. Oh, that is a lot of bronzer on the schnoot. But I'm wearing something different today. I've got a new dress from Karen Millen and I think it's gorgeous. I've had to add, add a belt because it didn't fit me on the on the waist, but I loved this neckline. How flattering is that to be able to wear a square neckline in winter? Um, I've popped it with my Louboutin boots as well. I'm going to pop my Amelia Wickstead coat over the top and a scarf to keep this area covered. But I think it's very cute, and I thought with a pop of colour, it maybe doesn't look so like work wear, but how good would this be for like every day at the office? I love it, absolutely. 
absolutely love it. Little flashes of red here and there. Love that for me. I've also tried to recreate my hair from the shoot. And I actually don't think I've done a bad job. Just a bit more too sort. It could be that I've still got Liam's um, work on my hair. It's lovely. So anyway, I'm ready to head to London. I'm gonna get myself warm with a coat. Need some perfume as well. Amber musk it is. Phone, scarf. I thought I'd show you my makeup up close as well, just in case. But like, I have the lightest foundation on you have ever seen. Like, how can I get this? Hopefully you'll be able to see it when we're in London. But yeah, I love it. I feel so fresh. I mean, my eyes are a little bit sleepy today because obviously I had a uh, like comatose sleep last night, but really, really love this. I feel like it went viral for all of the wrong reasons and it needs to go viral because it gives you skin like this and that's my final word on that. <laughs> coat and scarf on, so I'm a lot warmer, and this coat is to the ankle, so it should protect me against the wind. I've also got cashmere socks on with my tights and a cashmere base layer, so I am good to go to London. We are en route to Dean Street Townhouse for the first meeting of the day, which is good. What are you, what are you laughing at? <laughs> You're about to go our first, uh, we are on our way to Dean Street Townhouse for um, wine. <laughs> <laughs> No, I've just said to Carrie um, that we've kind of conditioned ourselves like Pavlov's dogs in that when we come to London, we just automatically associate it with wine because obviously we don't necessarily, I'd say we don't necessarily go out that much at the weekends anymore. Um, we were having this discussion the other day uh, with my PT, but I prefer, you know, like when you're in the mood for it and just going out and being sociable and socializing and having a nice glass of wine, probably having some food as well. Um, that's what I really enjoy. But sometimes if you like say, I'm gonna go out on this day at this time to this place, it can almost not be what you want it to be because it's almost like too planned. Um, so when we come to London, it allows us to be a bit spontaneous. And I very much enjoy that. I feel like I've got a bit too much bronzer on my nose today. Schnoodaline. En route to our first location. And I might even have some time to do some shopping today, which is good and um, enjoy ourselves. But then it is the meeting, not the meeting, the top up of my brows and my lips. So looking forward to that. Well, wonderful meetings with multiple different brands um, and just getting to like grips with their plans and things like that. It was a very, very lovely start to the day. We're now heading to Harrods for a little mooch, my favorite thing to do. I obviously didn't show you anything from the meeting. Hopefully gonna be able to show you some bits of what we're looking at in Harrods as well. And not fall into the Moet bar in Moet, not fall into the Moet bar in Harrods. If it's still there, do you think it's still there? I'd imagine so, but it was in was the it Christmas thing? No, it was in the beauty bit. Oh well. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't sure about that. We have arrived at Harrods, and I am not feeling this Louis Vuitton collaboration one morsel. Absolutely not. They've gone down the gardening angle. You have my attention. <laughs> Okay, we just finished up in Harrods and I actually ended up buying some beauty bits. I went to the Guerlain counter and I also went to the BDK fragrance counter and bought two fragrances. They just smelled really, really lovely. So I'm gonna open those with you when I get back, but we are now on our way to Tracy Giles for my top-up appointment for my brows and for my lips. And I'm very, very excited. This is one of the best beauty treatments I think I've ever had done and just made such a difference. So heading there now. So lips are done. I'm now ready for my brow top up with Miri and I'm very, very excited for this. Fresh faced, ready to go. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it has been an exciting day at the house. However, I have just gone out of the back doorstep and that is pure black ice. I thought that was water. It is just starting to melt now, but my goodness, that was an accident waiting to happen. <gasps> but we have an exciting turn of events. 
would you say hello to the framework of our new shed. Look at this solid oak. It's kind of like a porch, I'd say. So this is actually going to be uh, something that you can walk underneath. And then we will have obviously gates off down there to the kitchen garden as well. It is a lot bigger for Mr. Mill and Gordon and a lot more beautiful. I'm hopeful that inside, Ali is going to create a very aesthetically pleasing man shed. I'm hopeful. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to it, but this is a dream come true coming to life at the moment. My goodness. P.S. I am having a very no makeup day today because it is the day after my treatment with Tracy Giles. So I wanted to let my lips bed in, my brows bed in and just marinate and do their thing. So hence the clean sheet face. Right, I am officially undertaking my uh, kitchen garden like bed planning all of my flower seeds have arrived now and I slightly over ordered on cosmos so I might see if any of my neighbors <laughs> need some cosmos seeds because I somehow managed to order a hundred <laughs> not a hundred but a lot of different no they're the, all the same in fact I did the cosmos sensation purity so I've got loads of those. I also did a few cornflowers as well because I got a bit excited. And then I've got my sweet peas. I am very excited to grow these double dutch white cosmos. Oh my goodness, I saw them and they just looked so ruffly and beautiful. So I've got the flowers. I'm now actually for the first time in my uh, vegetable growing career, I'm actually basically writing down everything that I want to grow. Usually I kind of go into my greenhouse and I just grow whatever, but actually this time I want to do it properly and really understand how I'm going to use things. So I've grown carrots before, we use them. I'm doing parsnips again. Ali's really passionate about us having parsnips because obviously roasts and just parsnips are delicious. Spinach is always something that I like to start the season off with. Um, Monge too was great last year. I just needed to make sure that I didn't pack things in too much. Uh, I think I'll probably do like six I don't know, probably 12 plants and then um, see how those go, really. Uh, Moneymaker tomatoes, again, I use those for my chutneys. Um, normal courgettes, I won't do any exciting courgettes this year. Corn on the cob, that was like a last minute thing that I did and um, I'll be, I want to do it again because they were just delicious. Crown Prince as well, such a great pumpkin to grow and then cook with because they're so delicious. I've still got a few more lettuce bits and pieces that I'm going to um, jot down as well because there's definitely going to be more that I'm going to grow. And then I am still without makeup, so apologies, but tomorrow is a new day. So once I've written down everything that I'm gonna grow, like this, um, I need to like basically plan the dates of when I'm going to sow the seeds, whether those are into the beds or whether they're in the greenhouse, so that I can plan ahead and be organized with it. That's something I really want to do because often I'm kind of like last minute, like even this, I mean, I've got an excuse this year because obviously my shed isn't sorted, and so my greenhouse is fully, like, I can't get in there. Um, so I, I wasn't able to plant all those beautiful bulbs because they're in that greenhouse somewhere and I don't know where. So I'm so sad that I don't have any tulips growing. But I'm trying to do this properly this year. So um, once I've noted down and been kind of final on everything that I'm going to be growing, the next step is to basically draw out and plan my bed. So this is my very, very good drawing and this is the greenhouse. And then I'll basically section off each bed as to how I'm going to plan it out and where everything is going to go. It won't be like a set in stone thing, but what I'm gonna have to do is see about obviously growing flowers around things, because I, I do want to make it decorative. And I'm kind of looking at the, the beds and I'm thinking, I don't just want one side to have like a big mass of flowers where my cut flower bed is. What I'd love to have is cut flowers kind of scattered into each of the beds whether that's like in little sections or what have you so once i've done that and i've worked out like when things are going to be going into the beds and where i will then plan any flowers that i can kind of poke into places basically and fill them out with ruffly white beautiful flowers obviously sweet peas are kind of different um, i then obviously have to establish whether i need plant supports for the particular um 
vegetable in question or flower for example and then i'll go on like agri is it agri frames agri frames and go on there and just order a few little bits and pieces for things to climb up because i think that will be easy i'll need to order some more soil for the beds i need to order some more potting soil and i've ordered my first ever patch plants order obviously i went to the garden center the other day and there was no um ferns or ivy in there and I just went in search of some ferns online and I actually found a really big fern on patch plants, some ivy, bits and pieces like that. So I placed an order on there. It's quite expensive, um, but I'm going to get those bits and pieces potted up around the house as well. But I want to get some bulbs from Hello Petal as well, just growing in the house, seeing as I don't have any in my garden. Um, and that is generally how I will plan out the beds. Then what I will do is put the dates I know this sounds really neurotic, but I will actually go through my diary because uh, I'm using a few pages that were, I use them to like jot things down. If Say I got my diary on Christmas day um, and I had like the month before, I use the extra pages still to jot anything down. But what I will go through is the months of spring and note down exactly when I should be potting and um, sowing so that I'm prepared for that as well. It sounds neurotic, I know, but I, it, I started all of this during COVID and um, I had so much more time then because we were just at home and I don't want my busy life to get in the way of the calm that this brings me. Like my greenhouse is my happy place and I want to ensure that I make time for that. And so despite me being very busy, I want to make time for that side of my life. I don't want to lose it because it was such an important lesson. So that's what I've been doing this evening. Uh, the variations of sweet peas that I've bought are the sweet pea jilly. This was an actual recommendation from the ladies that I did the Arthur Parkinson uh, cut flower. I think it was a cut flower class um, at Ashbrook Location House. So they all suggested these as a beautiful, like fragrant uh, sweet pea. The other one that I got is the Sweet Pea Swan Lake. Uh, so I got two packets of each. So I, probably, I think I overbuy when it comes to, to flowers um, massively. I don't know why I do it. And then the final one that I got, obviously I couldn't resist this. This is the Sweet Pea Royal Family White. I couldn't resist it. Just purely from that name, I couldn't resist it. Um, and then obviously I've got the Double Dutch Cosmos, which I only got one packet of. I showed restraint. Uh, but I got a hundred million of these um, Cosmos Purity. And then, oh no, I did actually order these. Um, I ordered the Ox Eye Daisy, love those, and also the Cornflower, just to add, add a little bit of, um, I just wanted to add a little bit of like blue into it, purpley blue, and because the origin of these are Hertfordshire, which is the origin of me, um, I thought that that would be quite nice as well. So anyway, that's a bit of my planting plan. I know we started off at the garden centre, but I just kind of wanted to wrap up this bit before I go to bed for the evening. I need to have some water because I'm very thirsty, and I need to get in some pyjamas, and I wanted to show you that I've got some new pyjamas, and it looks like I found the closest thing to sort of like... Um, an atelier pyjama company. Uh, this is Fable and Eve London and I found them on Instagram and they had some really beautiful pieces of nightwear and there is nothing quite like a fresh set of pyjamas. You know this about me, I'm very passionate about my pyjamas and <laughs> so predictable. I love this. So the colours of these is like this rich rouge H. <laughs> this is like the rouge H of um, the Fable and Eve pajamas, but it's such a lovely color combination because the piping is in a beautiful light pink. Uh, I got the pajamas and I also got the little robe as well, which I thought would be quite lovely um, to throw on over the top. And then this one had a real timeless elegance to it. Obviously the piped pajamas just never go out of style. But these ones were so beautiful, I could not resist. They have such a like almost nautical theme to them. Um, this is like a navy blue with a, a knotted rope to them. It just has that exact feel that I was looking for when I was seeing um, the lovely pyjamas that Ali could get his hands on. 
I'm actually, these are so gorgeous, I don't want to wear them to bed, I don't want to ruin them. Also, one of the things that I was thinking about using my trunk for is storing my seeds. Now I know my trunk is gonna stay in my dressing room, but I was, I just thought it would make quite lovely seed storage. Like I could just rifle through the seeds, but I don't know whether it's stupid to have it in here, but I just want to use it for something that I love and I just, yeah, anyway, I've got, uh, rosemary oil on my hair, nourishing my scalp because I got uh, some of the hairspray on my scalp, which always irritates it. So I'm trying to soothe it, but pajamas on, ready for bed. I'll show you what they look like though. Oh my goodness, look how gorgeous they look on. I am so happy with these, ready for my first night sleep in them so i'm going to take myself downstairs get myself a glass of water and get myself into bed because it is nine o'clock it is my bedtime and i am pooped so i will see you guys in my next video and um i'll link these pajamas in the description box down below as well in case you're in the market for some lovely new pajamas